Hello, welcome back to the Butterfly Effect podcast. Uh, so we're going to be doing another character predictions video. I'm joined by Jack and Anya. Hello. Hi. And due to popular request, I say popular request, one of you, one of you requested this. <laughs> God, I, I hate my life. Um, <laughs> essentially, yeah, we thought we'd build on this idea and we'd host a little the Quarry Oscars. So we've made a few awards uh, for, you know, little predictions about things such as who's going to get the coolest kill, who's going to be the best actor, from, you know, down to things like who's going to be the best dressed. And we're going to give our little character predictions for who uh, should be nominated for each award. And then after the Quarry's released, we'll come back to it and we'll see how terribly wrong Anya was. What the hell? <laughs> Okay, so uh, first award is the Banana Skin Award. Now this award goes for the person we reckon is going to die first, excluding Max because we know this can happen to him. Uh, so I'll start, I've gone with Jacob. So it just seems like in the trailers, he has a really horrid time getting dragged through the woods, getting strung up, possibly put in a cage. Uh, so, you know, this could happen in any early chapters. I've kind of got to go off what I've seen. Uh, I damaged him pretty harsh in the last video, and I'm going to even top that by saying I reckon the guy's going to die first. Uh, for me, it's going to be Jedediah. I feel like Constance is going to be the leader of the hillbillies, and Bobby's going to be the henchman. So, no, I feel like Jedediah is the one that sort of sits as a slight outcast for me, so therefore he's going to get killed early. I also went with Jacob for my answer. Um, Cause I have seen some people mention the idea that Jacob and Emma are like the opposite Mike and Jess, or like they could be. So if that puts Jacob in Jess's position, then he's in for, you know, a rough time and early death potentially. Okay, uh, next award is the Grim Reaper Award. So this goes to the coolest death. So for example, until dawn, it'll probably be someone like Matt or Emily. Uh, but yeah, for this one, uh, the quarry, I reckon it's going to go to Jedediah. I said in the last video, I reckon we're really going to hate him. He's going to be this absolute villain. And I reckon someone like Abigail is going to kill him at the end. And I could just see this being an absolute badass kill. So I'm going to give this to Jedediah. I'm going to give it to Chris. I think it's because it's David Arquette, obviously the most recognisable actor in the game. And... That's probably the reason why I think that he'll get a very elaborate death. I picked one of the playable characters. I think maybe Laura might have something. I think she is in, also in for a bit of a ride based on like her little trailer that we've seen. Like She does not look good. So I feel like she has the potential to have something interesting. As for the main cast though, I think Jedediah could also be, or the overall cast, Jedediah could be a good answer as well. Next award is the Survivor Award. So this goes to uh, the characters that have to make it to the end of the game. So the ones that can't die before. So we can nominate multiple awards here. So for example, in Until Dawn, it would be Sam and Mike. Uh, so my final teens are Abigail and Ryan. I've picked one boy, one girl. Uh, the ones that I reckon will just be the main things for them. I've always said Abigail's going to end up being the final girl here. And Ryan's Justice Smith, a pretty well recognised actor. I can just see him making it far. I've also gone for a boy-girl finish, and but I've gone for Caitlin and Nick. And I feel like they're polar opposites of one another. Caitlin, I think she'll, at one point in the game, assume to be like the leader of the group. And then Nick, he seems to be quite introverted but charming and... I don't know, I just have a slight suspicion that he's going to get through all these horrible events and make it to the end game. Uh, the two I picked are Caitlyn and Emma. Uh, Caitlyn, just because she's giving me the vibe, but Emma, out of personal preference, I just hope that's what she is. But if I were to pick a guy, I'd probably swap Emma out for maybe Dylan. Uh, the next award is the Judas Award, so this goes for the traitor. So in Until Dawn we had Ashley, who had a secret dark dynamic. Uh, so this one goes to the person we reckon could potentially backstab the group and betray someone. Now I've given this to Dylan, I said in the last video that I reckon he has a secret dark dynamic. I'm really unsure about this and I question whether, you know, anyone will even betray 
But I thought I'd stick with my guns from the previous video and pick Dylan. Yep, I'm gonna go with Bobby. Um, so the context for this is that I think that Bobby's originally gonna be like a henchman and he's gonna chase after the group. But then by circumstances, he ends up sort of being with them for a little while in the game. And then when a threat emerges, I feel like he's going to try and throw one of the playable characters under the bus. So that's why I think he's going to be the traitor. This one I wasn't super sure of. Um, I went with like potentially Laura for this one as well, because um, I've heard a theory that she could like be captured and brainwashed a little bit. So it's like not on her own choice to like be a traitor to the rest of the group, but I don't know. <laughs> I might steal Jack's answer. <laughs> I like that answer. Next, we have the Jester Award. So this goes to the funniest character, the person we just think will enjoy uh, their one-liners and jokes a lot. Uh, I've given it to Caitlyn. Now, I know that Dylan's bio says he's the class clown, the funny goofball, but I'm questioning here whether his jokes will land. And I just have a feeling that Caitlyn's people's early favorites. I reckon she'll just have some really cool, funny lines in there. Yes, I have gone for Dylan. Um, obviously in, its, in his bio it says about an oddball humour and that he has like this radio voice so I imagine he's going to be a people pleaser and maybe come across as slightly needy and that manifests itself in telling jokes all the time so yeah I've gone with him. I would probably agree with Dylan. I wanted to go with Max just because his bio does say he's like the class clown but we also don't know how much we're actually going to get to you know see him. Um, so I'd probably go with Dylan as far as like, I don't want to say more relevant characters because we don't know yet, but. Uh, nice. So uh, the next one is the Prick Award in light of the last <laughs> one, who we reckon is going to be our most hated character. Now, um, it's, it's going to be very different if you pick a teen versus like one of the main villains, I guess. But if I'm talking about the teens here, I'm going to have to stay true to the last video. Jacob, <laughs> because Prick. <laughs> Yeah, uh, as for me, I'm also going to stick with my original prediction. I'm going to say Emma. I think it's going to be because of her rejection of Jacob. Um, not necessarily because she's rejecting him, but maybe the manner in which she does it. And, you know, might, she might be sort of quite um, up herself afterwards. So, yeah, I'll go with Emma. So, me personally, I don't really have anybody that really stands out to someone I'm gonna dislike at this point and I feel like all of them are pretty strong at the moment but I think there's a trend of one of the female characters being the most hated in the games so I could see it being any of them honestly except maybe Caitlyn maybe Abigail the next award is the Mario award so this goes out to the coolest kill uh, I'm going to give it to Abigail hand in hand with what I previously said with the Grim Reaper award. I reckon Abigail is just going to kill Jedediah. I don't know why I think this, but I just reckon it's going to be a really cool kill. I've gone with Ryan for this. Um, see, I know on his bio it says that he's quite a loner, and I feel like he's going to be the sort of person that he doesn't have... He doesn't have boundaries. He doesn't have any... I won't say lack of empathy, but I feel like when the job needs to get done, he will be there to do it. And I vaguely remember there's a point where he's holding a gun as well. So I think Ryan. I think probably Dylan, because like I said, I'd probably consider him for a final team. So he's got to have something cool. Okay, so the next award is the Vogue Award. So uh, I'm getting deluxe edition personally, and uh, for the 80s outfits that you can get, just a little fun award here. Who do we reckon is going to have the coolest fashion outfit? Um, I've gone with Ryan. I don't know why. I can see them kitting him up with some kind of like zebra print, maybe some funky sunglasses and an afro. I'm just going to say it. So yeah, I've just stabbed in the dark with Ryan. I've gone with Abigail and I don't know. Is it because I'm picking up vibes that she might sort of have like this sort of hippie thing going on i could almost imagine her like wearing very bright colors for some reason don't know why but yeah that's why i've gone with her i feel like emma would be pretty fashionable she already has a pretty cute outfit going on but i also feel like 
Caitlyn could really rock like an 80s look. Like, you know, some cute little like warmers, some popping colors. I feel like that would suit her. Uh, so the Oscar goes to who we reckon is going to have just the best acting performance throughout the game. That's really going to probably move us with impact. Now I've gone with Travis. Um, Ted Raimi's a horror acting legend. Um, he plays the creepy cop. I just think he's got a lot of license to roam around with here and really put in a good performance. Yeah, see, I nearly went with Travis, but I've gone for Jacob in this. Um, I think that Jacob is going to have a very interesting character arc. I think at the start of the game, he's going to be positioned as like the typical jock. I think that's going to slowly be picked at as the game goes on. And I think it's actually going to bring out more depth in his character. I also went with Travis. Um, I feel like even with just the couple of minutes we've seen, there's a lot of different ways his character can end up going. And I think he could, you know, pull it off, like, no matter what, like, very well. Okay, so the next award is called the Sally Hardesty Award in tribute to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Girl, uh, so who do you reckon is going to have the toughest run? Who's going to get their ass kicked throughout the game, get bloodied, bruised, and just have a really horrible time that's going to make us feel sorry for them? Uh, now, I was torn between two characters, uh, but I went with uh, Laura. I just reckon the hardship with Max, and I reckon she's probably going to meet uh, the cast later on in the game, and I can just see her being this absolute broken, bruised girl. And um, we're going to absolutely feel sorry for her. So I'm going to pick Laura here. I'm going to pick Jacob again. I think that it's going to start off with um, Emma rejecting him. I, Judging by the Insta story as well, I think he's going to get kidnapped by the hillbillies at some point. Um, I'm pretty sure it's him in the trailer as well, where you can see there's clearly up some sort of like animal trap that he ends up going into. I think he's going to go through a amount in this game so yeah Jacob for me so I settled on Laura but I was also very close to picking Jacob for the reasons both of you said so I feel like it could be either one of those honestly but I think Laura is probably gonna be the more you know the sadder toughest traumatizing kind of night uh, now the final one, uh, the Butterfly Effect Award, is a nice and simple one. Who do we reckon is going to be our favourite character by the end of the game? Now this is an absolute difficult one because we know absolutely little. Uh, we've got, you know, there's just not much to go off of. Uh, I know around the start, I, in the last video I said probably Emma, but I'm actually going to give it to Laura. I've been giving it a little bit of thought and it's kind of taken me by surprise, but past few days just from what i've seen in the prologue she's kind of like a hidden actress i didn't know before but i just reckon she's gonna kind of have like a until dawn jess comeback story and i fucking love a comeback story and i just reckon laura is gonna yeah absolutely rock the game i've gone with chris and i really do hope it is chris and i hope that he doesn't end up being a villain in this game because for me personally i feel like that would be wasted potential in terms of like um i'm talking about if he if he's like a werewolf or something because i feel like that he could offer perhaps so much more in terms of being the father figure for the group so i'm fingers crossed hoping that chris will be my favorite character i think for general public people already like caitlin a lot so i'm gonna throw my vote over to her I think being played by Brenda kind of helps because I think, for me at least, aside from like David Arquette, um, she's probably like the name I know out of like all the main playable characters. Um, and she's got a pretty strong personality already, um, but I could see it going like either way. I already love Emma and Laura the most, so could be anybody. Okay, that's awesome. So yeah, thank you uh, very much for watching this video. Obviously our things are just predictions. We could be really wrong. There are a lot of these as well where I was really torn. Like, you know, the Oscar, do I give it to Travis or Eliza? I just, yeah, it was such a tough process trying to pick names here. So let us know in the comments uh, who probably got the most spot on. What would you change? Give us your thoughts. We'd absolutely love to hear them. And join us again in the future when we look back at our predictions here 
and we just see how bloody wrong we were. So yeah, thank you very much for joining guys. Links are in the description. And yeah, we'll see you again soon. Thank you very much. Ciao. Bye bye. Yeah, but yeah, but woo, Team Jacob to die first. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna get fucked up. We're so mean to him. Look at little Goblin Jr. Gonna cry?